Happy Happy Arts Day. Happy Arts Day. Happy Arts Day. Happy Arts Day. How can I get my family to enjoy eating fruits and vegetables? Hey everyone, I'm Nayeli Ramirez and I work for the, I am a registered dietitian working for the Spring Valley Wake Office. One of my favorite ways of using more vegetables is to use the vegetables as pizza toppings. So for example, you can add broccoli, bell peppers, zucchini, mushrooms, and all those vegetables are different colors flavors and textures so that will help you keep a more balanced plate. Another tip is that I know a lot of people don't like raw vegetables so you can try roasting them and by roasting them you get a lot of great flavor and then you can put those vegetables into a veggie wrap. For dessert, um, one way you can incorporate fruit is by slicing a banana lengthwise and then you can top it with a scoop of low-fat yogurt. And then you can add like a tablespoon of chopped nuts or peanuts, whatever is your preference. And there you have a very fulfilling dessert that also incorporates food. I feel like my family wastes so much food. How can we reduce food waste? Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm a lactation consultant and a registered dietitian. It's been estimated that Americans throw away billions of pounds of food every year at home or eating out. So some things I like to do is look in the refrigerator daily and see what's already there that needs to be used up. And if I still need ingredients to make a particular dish, I just write make those write those down on a list and get those. And then one last thing I do is I make sure that the perishable fruits and vegetables are visible in the fridge. Sometimes we use that little drawer and we put our vegetables in there and then we forget about them. We open it, it's all green and slimy. So I put those things out in the open so I can see them and use them. How can my family eat healthy on a budget? Hey, I'm Connie. I'm a registered dietitian at the Euclid office. And that's a great question. By cooking more, eating out less, uh, prepackaged foods can add up when you calculate the cost serving per size. Um, Also the same thing goes for pre-cut fruit our pre-cut produce, those can add up because they're convenient, so the cost tends to be a little bit higher. Also when shopping, look out for deals, look out for specials, and compare unit prices. And lastly, focus on nutritious, low-cost foods like beans, legumes, peanut butter, eggs, peanut butter, canned fish, and frozen and canned fresh fruits and vegetables can also be more affordable options. All of those are healthy ingredients that can be incorporated into your meals. How can my family eat healthy when we are on the go? My name is Lynn and I am a registered dietitian and a lactation consultant here. Do land somewhere maybe that you're not as familiar with. You can make sure that you're choosing things on the menu that maybe include words like baked, braised, broiled, grilled, poached, roasted, or steamed, and maybe trying to avoid the foods that would be higher in saturated fat and calories like batter fried, pan fried, buttered, creamed, crispy, breaded. And if you do eat those kind of foods, maybe just choosing them occasionally. Something else I always think about is what did I eat the whole day, not just at that particular meal. So maybe if I do wanna go out and have something that's you know higher in fat and calories, then I'm gonna maybe eat something lighter earlier in the day or if I'm going to be having that at lunch, maybe something lighter later in the day. What are some ideas for healthy snacks? Hello everyone, my name is Andres. I'm a registered dietitian at the Linda Vista office. Snacks can be uh, different, different, different options for snacks. It can be healthy options. We just need to plan out a little bit. So we can plan out for snacks that are single ingredients that you can have by themselves or that you can combine together. Some of my favorites are peanut butter, homemade bread, yogurt, fruit, uh, crackers, cheese. So I mentioned just a few of the snacks that you can have. You can put it together in a plate. Uh, just be mindful, very important, just be mindful of your portion sizes. What are some ideas for making a healthy salad? Hi, I'm Mary and Mernicki. I'm a registered dietitian and our nutrition education coordinator uh, here at American Red Cross WIC. 
And when making a healthy salad, I imagine I'm building a house. The first floor, my foundation, is leafy greens. My second floor, I can go a little crazy decorating with fruits and veggies of different colors for different nutrients. And then if my salad is my main dish, I add a protein for my third floor. I like a hard boiled egg or beans or cheese. And then on the roof of my house for texture, crunch and healthy fats, I'll sprinkle some nuts or seeds on top. And then my secret for not having my salad be a gazillion calories is to have my dressing on the side and I dip my fork first in the dressing and then into my salad. So I have a salad bowl of healthy deliciousness. What are some easy, healthy meal ideas? I felt this question was very appropriate for me because I actually don't love to spend a ton of time in the kitchen. So I really enjoy getting creative with how to save time in the kitchen. So for breakfast, um, one of my go-tos is always having fruits and vegetables in the house and literally throwing any of them into a blender and creating a smoothie. I like to add um, what I call my magic pixie dust, which is really just chia seeds, flax meal, and sometimes I add in different seeds in there. And as you can see, I'm almost on empty. So I have those already mixed in advance, so I can just toss those into my smoothies. Um, for lunch and dinner, I usually like to cook my proteins in bigger batches and then freeze into, or freeze the leftovers into smaller portions. That way, when I don't have a ton of time to cook, I can just take out one of those portions, throw them in a pan with some veggies that I have um, on hand and make just a stir fry with some herbs and a different sauce. What are some healthy breakfast ideas? My name is Brittany Vaughn and I'm a registered dietitian and a regional manager for the American Red Cross WIC program. And I've actually been a registered dietitian for two years and I've worked for the WIC program almost six years. And I love breakfast. Breakfast is actually my favorite part of my day. And the reason why I love it is because most people share with me that they don't eat breakfast. And the reason why they don't eat it is because they don't have time. And I absolutely love breakfast and I actually make 30 minutes every day to eat breakfast because it really sets the tone and it allows you to really energize for you to tackle that day and to do all your tasks. Something I do is overnight oats. And what I do is I actually grab a mason jar. I grab half a cup of rolled oats, a cup of soy milk since I'm lactose intolerant. So if you wanna use low fat milk, feel free to do so. I grab some berries and I stick it in the fridge and then grab it the next morning to eat. And the best part about overnight oats is that you can just literally eat it and you don't have to heat it up. What I recommend is a veggie scramble. And with the veggie scramble, you can have two eggs, spinach, tomatoes, green onions, broccoli, and a slice of whole wheat toast. It's actually a super filling breakfast and it's very healthy since you're getting in those vegetables, some whole grains, some fats, and some protein from the eggs. But if you do hate breakfast, something that I would recommend is doing breakfast tacos, which it doesn't have eggs. What you'll do is mash up some avocado, mix in some black beans, throw some salsa on top of the tacos, and do some low-fat shredded cheese. And it's actually a pretty nutritious breakfast since again, you're getting those whole grains, the fats, the proteins. You just make sure to listen to your body, be mindful of what you're eating, and uh, enjoy your snacks. That's gonna be the most important thing. Thank you. Happy National Nutrition Month.